I didn't know I was living my life on a stage as you do. Your entire life is on a stage. There's a whole audience watching you that you have not invited. But they are watching you. And your life is on an elevated stage. Everybody is looking at what you're doing. And everybody that is watching, one day or the other, will speak for you or speak against you. Based on what they see. Because of the trail that you're living every day. Every day. You're living a trail. Which is when I said to you, you have to live more deliberately. You have to live intentionally. You have to understand the implication of every action that you take. You have to know why I am doing this. If it's not in line, if nothing else, if the only ambition I have is to finish in righteousness, there are things I will not do. If all I do is I want to finish such a way that on the day of my wakekeeping or funeral, when people get up to talk, they will speak the truth and they will be good truth. Then I would be a little kinder, a little gentler, a little more helpful. I will sow better seeds in the lives of people. And if I want to finish knowing that I have deployed all my talents, then I will pursue the gifts of God in my life to the ultimate extent. Why? God didn't give me for decoration. He gave it to me for use. And he didn't give it to me for my use. He gave it to me for his purpose. And that purpose was meant to be deployed on the face of the earth. They don't need it in heaven. And therefore, I have a responsibility. As a man or as a woman, it's what you sense the Lord has called you to. Your vision, your ambition, your inspiration, the things you want to be, your dreams, your hopes. Everything you sense that God has called you to. Does marrying a wife change that? It shouldn't. So why does it change it for a lot of women? Ask yourself. It doesn't. Marrying a wife should enhance it as marrying a husband should enhance it. And then you become a father. It only adds to you. But the core of who you are remains. Because your dreams, your ambition, your inspiration, all of those things remain. And you can only continue to build on them. What is failure? It's a nonsense word. Because you do not fail in your life until you die and you have not achieved the purpose of God for your life. So don't let anybody intimidate your mind by saying you have failed. You failed at nothing. Your life is in seasons. Some seasons will be superstar seasons. Some will be low seasons. Why are you going to kill yourself or let anybody label your life because of seasons you have passed when you have not reached the end of the seasons of your life? <laughs> Nobody can ever tell me I failed at anything. I just learned lessons about some things along the way. And every lesson that I learn at every stage will serve me in my future. That is how I live my life. And your mind had better be hooked to the God who knows that you will finish well. It is the end that counts. And that is why I'm telling you, live your life with the end in mind.